We begin tonight in Hillsborough County where three years of waiting is over for a Bay Area family seeking justice. Today, a jury convicted Vincent Brown in the kidnapping and murder of his ex-girlfriend Jennifer Johnson. Our Carson Chambers was there to witness the strong reaction both inside and outside the courthouse. Carson? Well, James and her family was in court every day of the trial and today they say it was all worth it. Jennifer Johnson's family waited three years for this 30 seconds. The defendant is guilty of first degree murder as charged. The defendant is guilty of kidnapping as charged. The judge ordered silence when the verdict was read and there were quiet tears, unspoken prayers and nods. Yes. Justice has been served. She could finally go rest in peace and we could I'll move on even though our wounds are never going to close. It's nothing I can do. She's gone to heaven now. She's in a better place, but she didn't have to go like that. This is the verdict they wanted so badly, though it won't bring Jennifer back. Her family sat through excruciating testimony for weeks, detailing how she died. Graphic photos showed what Brown did to her body, so it wasn't hard to understand why outside the courthouse. Johnson's family didn't hold back. We are survivors and we are here and we did what we had to do for her. And that's for all bad women over the world who's ever going through something like this. Get out. Her family says Johnson was leaving Brown when he kidnapped, tortured, raped, and killed her. They won't be silent about it. He needed to get what, was, get what he deserved because he didn't have to take the life of my daughter. To many women, they, were, they are in abusive relationships. I would like to tell them to get out. It's never too late to get out. Brown may pay with his life for what he did three years ago. He was silent, too, and stone-faced when the verdict was read. And we'll be there when jurors return to court tomorrow for the death penalty phase. They will hear from both sides one more time before they make their recommendation to a judge. Now, Johnson leaves behind a five-year-old daughter, Janice. Her grandmother is raising her. I'm Carson Chambers. Back to you. Carson, thank you. And ABC Action News is dedicated to taking action against domestic violence. To find information on where you can get help, you can go to our website at abcactionnews.com slash dv.